Hey everybody, welcome to the Showboat Resort in Atlantic City, New Jersey, and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to take you guys all around the brand new $100 million Island Water Park and the Lucky Snake Arcade. Make sure to watch to the end as it's filled with great information. Click subscribe and be sure to give the video a thumbs up. So we just got done parking the car. A little bit weird. The garage is now owned and managed by a third-party company called Air Garage. And basically, uh, you can get a transfer to any other garage in Atlantic City when you pay to park at another one within like 24 hours or 48 hours. Uh, but there's no staff in the parking garage. So I had to email the third-party company and tell them that we had a receipt, which is the proper thing to do according to the people at the front desk. So we'll see what happens. Otherwise, parking is $25. You can actually get a residence at Showboat. They converted something like 300 or 400 rooms into apartments for people to actually live in. And I think even some of them last summer were on Airbnb. I haven't checked this year. Um, like I mentioned earlier, we're not staying here because the room rates were very high and they don't include access to the water park. So if you go places like Kalahari, or uh, Wolf Lodge, usually your room price includes the price of admission to the water park. That is not the case here. As we enter the lobby for the New Orleans Tower, there's the new side of the New Orleans Tower and the old side and what used to be a casino entrance. So uh, very cool down here. This is all brand new and this is how you get into the water park. So we made a tiny mistake. We had digital tickets we bought online and thought we could just go up to the water park entrance. I must have missed it or not read it, but you can't, you have to go up to the ticketing counter and uh, basically show them your online ticket in order to get in. All right, after straightening out our wristband fiasco, we're finally headed into the water park. And uh, yeah, like I said, it looks really nice in here. They built a, they built a little mini arcade on the way to the water park. And there's a very long vestibule, but no line. So I guess that's the upside of the tickets being slightly expensive, is that there's not a huge crowd here yet. We got a lot of boardwalk carnival style games here, I like it. So once we get in, I'll give you guys a walking tour around the facility and maybe I can get on some of the rides with my GoPro, but uh, I doubt it. So we'll have, to, we'll have to wait and see. They do check your bags and wand you on the way in. So uh, let's go. All right, first time in the Island Water Park at the former Showboat Casino, now Showboat Hotel. All right, guys, so this is the front entrance right here that we just came in at. And I'm gonna take you guys down the boardwalk for a little bit of a circle. You got Island Treasures gift shop right here. Looks like your typical gift shop affair. Locker rooms and restrooms right down the hall here. Boardwalk fries and chicken fingers. I'll try to get close to the menu for you guys so you can see what the pricing looks like. Next up on the boardwalk, we've got the grill. Here's a look at the menu. Those pretzels look good, but being this close to Philadelphia, they've got some uh, legacy to live up to for sure. Fresh hot pizza. Another uh, little boardwalk style joint here. Pizza by the slice, $8. Yikes. 
being brand new, I could see this place definitely adjusting the pricing and they need to get some room packages because every other water park I've been to, the price of admission is included in your hotel room and that's just not the case here, at least not yet. And then directly across the boardwalk here, you've got the Treehouse Bar. So basically it's like a drinking spot. You got the bar downstairs and some really cool seating upstairs. Maybe I'll go up there and give you guys a quick look. Got another little mini arcade over here, which to me doesn't really make sense when you got a giant arcade uh, under a showboat. But I guess it makes sense in the fact that you don't have to leave the water park and you can probably go in here when you're soaking wet and nobody's gonna say anything. That's just my speculation though. It's a lot of loud thumping music in here, so I'm glad I'm using my microphone. So that's the boardwalk. Now let's go over and take a look at the adult pool and uh, some of the more, uh, you know, kid-friendly sections. Here's what one of the cabanas looks like. Again, it's $4.99 currently to rent a cabana. It's a little bit on the pricey side, but not too wild based on other water parks I've been to. So coming over to this area here, this is a kid and adult friendly, just basic pool. You got the flamingo and uh, toucan room over here. These are like party rentals, obviously, uh, that you can rent for, you know, whatever you're celebrating. The cabanas I noted on the web noticed on the website do come with a server to take your order. And you can get food, you can get drinks. Uh, I do recall reading all of that. So now we're coming over to the bigger adult slides here and you go right up above the canopy and come out the slides and go down and you come back out over here, but they, you know, they do go outside the building. And this section is called the Tidal Racers. And there is a height restriction, so you want to take note of that. And up next, I'll give you guys a quick look at the uh, Paradise Adult Pool. It's an adults only pool. So here's the adults only area that you had to buy a ticket, separate ticket for. Uh, I was too cheap to do that, and this guy's trying to kick me out, but there's a bar down here. So this is adults only, no children. Cabanas, again, $4.99 to rent a cabana for the day. Right next door is the showboat, uh, sorry, right next door is the Ocean Casino parking garage. That's part of the New Orleans Tower right there. And here's the uh, staircase to go up to the bigger slide. So one unfortunate thing is that if you're here with very, very young children, like I'd say five and under, this is probably one of the only, this is actually the only area that they can go to because over here in the bigger kids section, you know, you gotta be a certain height. My four-year-old daughter was not tall enough to ride these rides. Granted, she's not the tallest girl in the world, but uh, you know, for her, that area over there was not an option. Take a quick look down the lazy river. So this little ramp over here takes you over to the bigger kid area. So I'll take you guys up and around. I'm gonna talk over the copyrighted music. Very, very scenic here with the palm trees. You got showboat in the background. This tower of showboat was built in 2003 and this side was built in 1996. And they converted a lot of this side into apartment rentals and full-time apartments. Uh, I don't have, I'm not, you know, like I said earlier in the video, I'm not staying here, so I don't have a room to show you guys. But in my opinion, what they're charging for the rooms, given their age, just isn't worth it. Now, they are renovating a lot of the rooms, so it'll, you know, maybe my stance will change if I stay in one. But to me, the renovation doesn't, doesn't look worth the price of admission. <clears throat> All right, so the lower part of the treehouse here is a bar. 
and the upper part is available for rent. And I'd imagine you have a really good view up there of the whole water park. Here's the bar area. Got a couple TVs and a pretty, you know, okay sized bar. I think it's real busy in here. I could see it being a little too small. So here's the area for older children. I'll take you guys up the staircase and show you real quick. So it's very fun. The uh, flooring material is kind of soft and, you know, grippy enough. What's that? There's a missing calendar. Not mine. <laughs> so here's uh, two of the bigger slides for older kids. And then coming over here, you do have a pretty decent sized drop slide here. Not as big as one at Kalahari that I saw, or that I've been on. Some water shooters right here. Coming up here, you got a nice little, nice little tree fort area with dumping buckets and a little shower sprayer. In this area down here is where you would get splashed by the giant uh, soaking bucket. And you got two more slides over here for younger children. So let's keep going up here. Looks like 48 inches tall is the requirement for the blue free fall slide. There goes the bucket. So you got the slide island it's called. 42 inches appears to be the height requirement. You got this area over here under the giant bucket. You know, the screen slide's not very tall, but it looks pretty fast, so that's exciting. <laughs> this lady down here is waiting to get soaked by the bucket. Cleanliness-wise, the park, as a lot of people online have noted, is very, very clean and very fresh. But that's not hard to do when you've only been open for about a week and a half. <clears throat> Another little ramp here to take you over to the next area. Very nice stonework on the pathway. It's very, very friendly and accommodating looking. I have sandals on and I haven't slipped once. I wonder if it'd be different with bare feet. So coming over to this area here, we have the Flow Rider a cruise ship staple and water park staple. I've tried the flow rider a few times. I always fall on my behind. <coughs> so now we're back over to the entry area. I've seen a lot of security guards around, so that's very uh, nice. You got your towel stand right next to your main entrance. Hold on. Wait, pause the video. This towel stand holds a potentially dark, dark secret. Here's the wife, Alicia, to explain more. Upsetting news. There's the towel hut. See, it says towels. You, when you go up there, I don't know if you can see the tablets. It's a waiver that you sign for the flow rider. And then they give you a wristband so they know you can go on there. But there are no towels. There are no towels. I've never been to a water park where they don't give you towels. And if you want a towel, you bring it, which I didn't know. But luckily I brought three towels. Or you can go to the gift shop and buy a $20 towel is what they tell you. So just information for you. And we're back here at the Flow Rider now. Coming up straight ahead, we got another bar called the Surf Bar. This one is much bigger. No TVs though, that's interesting. And you got another staircase here to the Barracuda Blaster, the Electric Eel, and the Sonic Serpent.
And another reminder here that you can rent a party room. Very nice collection of uh, surfboards up there. Very cool. Here's the exit to all the slides that go outside of the water park. And it should be noted that, uh, so we're looking east towards the boardwalk right now. To the left is Ocean Resort. <laughs> of course, you have Showboat to the right side here and Hard Rock directly on the other side of that. So there are casino options directly next door if you want that. So there's our tour of the uh, entire water park. Next, I think we're gonna get up on the uh, Lazy River and take a ride around that. So let's get going on that next. So it's later in the evening now, and I'm back to show you guys the Lucky Snake Arcade. And basically, the Lucky Snake takes up the entire former casino floor. That used to be a walkway over to Hard Rock and Taj Mahal back in the day. So you have the Ace Restaurant right off the boardwalk here. <clears throat> Lucky Snake Pinball Gallery, although I don't see any pinball machines. And when you walk in here, you've got another giant claw machine. I know during the day they have tables in here so you can watch the games on the TV. It's a rock climbing wall. There's a prize redemption center and information booth over here. Yeah, the prize redemption was back there. I think it still is. Might just not be open at the moment. Ah, the Lucky Snake Pinball Gallery right over here. If you go down this hallway, the Bourbon Tower elevators would be right there. Now here's a tip. If you're staying here and you're going to be mainly at the water park, you may want the New Orleans Tower as it's right up against the water park. The Bourbon Tower is right here and it's closer to the arcade. That Casa Dinopoli sign is a remnant of the former showboat casino back in the day. It was a great Italian restaurant. It was really awesome. So now I'm going to take you guys all through the arcade and I'll try to talk over the music. But basically this is the former Showboat Casino floor from back in the day. They got a mega Wheel of Fortune machine here. Honestly, it's not much different from the casino. You're just playing for different prizes, right? And uh, this former heart was part of the House of Blues at Showboat back in the day. Uh, the heart was moved from the lobby up here into the arcade. And uh, back in the day, this would have been filled with slot machines and table games and everything like that. They painted the entire ceiling blue. This Riviera sign actually came... Wow, it is incredibly loud in here. That Riviera sign actually came from the original Riviera Casino in Las Vegas that was imploded. A ton, a ton of arcade games in here, a lot of different ways to win, a lot of different things you can do, pro get prizes for. Back in the day, the uh, Showboat Casino used to have a bar right here. It's now reopened, obviously not with the casino anymore. And this end right here used to be table games. Now it's the Showboat Atlantic City Raceway. And there's electric go-karts that you can ride through the whole f rest of the facility here. Uh, you know, obviously they don't want to be burning gas indoors, so they have these really cool electric go-karts. And I'll try to find the rates for you guys if I can. But this is a really creative use of the former casino space. They ripped all the carpets out for the go-karts here. Uh, I don't see prices. 
Maybe if I find pricing, I'll put it up on the screen for you guys. Here's a QR code you scan to register. The theme around the property here is a lot of things are operated via QR code, I guess. The parking, a lot of things in the water park like the lockers, and apparently also registering for the raceway. They got a party room over here. More whack-a-mole things over here. It's incredibly loud in here. So keep that in mind if your kids are hearing sensitive or anything like that. Uh, yeah, so here's the raceway getting ready to go. I'll try to get a video for you guys uh, if I catch them running. Back in the day, this would have been the casino cage where you would have cashed out your chips. And this little spot right here would have been one of the uh, high roller pits. It's now a it's now a pinball or a pool room. So that's interesting, kind of cool. Let's keep walking down here. I might have mentioned this earlier, but another remnant of the former casino days are all these penny gras, roulette, uh, all these neon signs over here are left over from the showboat. Look at those giant springs to keep the cars from careening out of control. Down over here back in the day would have been more casino floor under the New Orleans Tower. Obviously not there anymore. And it looks like they're in the process of gutting it. Yeah, you can kind of kind of see it over here. They're, they're ripping it all out. Oh, there they go. They're off to the race. Going really fast. So one of them just skidded out a little bit around that corner there. This one guy's like uh, totally in the lead here. Oh, they have a gamer lounge right here. That's kind of cool. It's just racks and racks of computers. Nobody using it though. Interesting. So we're back in the hallway now, just outside of the arcade. Bourbon Tower elevators right there. Over here, they've now installed a roller rink. Uh, looks like some really miniature bumper cars. You got your roller skate rentals right down there. Some bumper cars and uh, mini golf down here. When this was Showboat Casino, this particular room used to be called the Carousel Room. And it was just another, like, another smaller slot machine section back in the day. But nowadays it's uh, mini golf, bumper cars, and roller skating. I could see this place really catching on in a couple years and being one of the biggest and best family entertainment centers in the Northeast, just because of the sheer size of the facility they have here. You know, you're talking five, 600 hotel rooms. You're talking uh, former casino floor space that you can do pretty much anything family entertainment wise that you would really want. They got this cool little statue here dedicated to the water park. And uh, the hotel check-in area is over here on the left. And this is basically where we started our day earlier today when I uh, started in the water park. So there's your video. Thanks a lot for watching. And uh, I hope you guys got a good overview of the former Showboat Casino.